Hey y'all, this is Maddie from Maddie's Kitchen, and today I'll be cooking you some baby back fried ribs. Okay, and what I'll be using in my ribs, here's the, I bought this at Publix, I the banged them, I took the bang off of the back of them, because I think that's help them, they tenderize them, and you don't have, they don't be as tough. And that, what else I'll be, what I'll be using, I'll be using some, this is red uh, pepper, this is a teaspoon of it. Here's some black pepper, a teaspoon, salt, a teaspoon, garlic powder, a teaspoon, and some probably minced onion, because I already have garlic, but sometimes I mix them together. Brown sugar, paprika. Uh, I have a fourth cup of brown sugar, but you use as much as you want it to cover your ribs. And some paprika, and a, a, a two uh, teaspoon, a tablespoon of, of chili powder. And of course, some mustard. I'll be using that. And I'll be also using flour. This is plain flour. And here's my oil. I'll be using some oil. And these are my ingredients. Okay, you all, the same ingredients, the dry ingredients that I put on my, that I rub my ribs with, I also put in my dust and my flour. So I'm gonna put a little uh, paprika. No, this is chili powder. I'm sorry. Put some chili powder in just a little bit because I wanna make, uh, make sure it has a good taste. Now I'm gonna put paprika, sorry y'all, my paprika, put some of this in here, okay. And I, in order of doing that, I like for, you know, to be seasoned real good. I don't over season it. And here's some, uh, I'm gonna put a little minced garlic in here. A little minced garlic. Put this on, this is about a teaspoon. Together, all my ingredients, i say is a tablespoon. And I'm gonna put some uh, garlic powder, a little garlic powder. And the best way to do it, so you won't miss anything, is do it like this. So measure what you're gonna rub your stuff in, but what you're gonna dust your food with, I kinda season that a little bit too. So I put all of this in here, and I do it as before I um, rub my food. Now this is salt, some salt. And some pepper, some pepper in here. Okay. And some red pepper, some red pepper in here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this together, set this aside so when I get ready to do my, and I'm gonna, you can taste it too. Let me taste your little flour and set aside taste. That's what I do sometimes. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I can taste all, so I'm gonna stir this up good. I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, I didn't know if I mentioned my mustard, this, but this is the first thing I do. I take my mustard and spread it all over my meat. And rub it in with some brown sugar. Turn it over, I put some brown, up. this is what I do, rub it in real good. So you rub it in real good. I'm gonna touch this hand, and then, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna sprinkle some brown sugar on here and do the same thing. Sprinkle some over here, rub this in. It don't matter. If you want to like yours a little sweet, uh, make sure you do this. And when I get through putting all these ingredients on here, I'm gonna take and uh, put it in the refrigerator and let it set for a while, let it marinate for a while. So I'm gonna put some of this on here. This, I named them out, all my ingredients. This is chili powder right here. Don't forget your chili powder now. And when you're getting ready to fry, make sure you, you can do, use a deep fat fry, but for this little piece of rib, I wouldn't because you're wasting too much oil. And I'll take and put, uh, I put some of this paprika on here. I'm gonna put all those ingredients that I named to you, rub it in, I'm gonna do both sides. And a little, uh, this is a little garlic. Do both sides like this and it'll be good to go. And it's okay, put some salt. in it. And I also, you know, I put it in my, um, I got it in my uh, dust and stuff, my flour, so it don't matter if, you know, if it, when you got it like that, it's good to go. Put this pepper. And all my ingredients are going to be in my description box telling you how to do it. And I'm put some, this in some cayenne pepper, red pepper. That's going to be good, y'all, because it's seasoned. Really good. Now I'm gonna put the last, I'm gonna put some brown sugar on it. 
rub this in. Okay, I know I put it in first, but I like to put mine in really good. I'm a, and then I'm gonna turn this over and do the same thing to this side. Like I said, it doesn't matter what order you put in, you're just gonna let it marinate and uh, set it in the refrigerator for a few minutes. Okay, put some mustard on here. So I can season this side too. Rub this in. Really good. And let this set in the refrigerator, y'all. Make sure you let it set in the refrigerator for a while. Then I'm going to cut this up after it's marinate. Put in my hot oil. I'll be good to go. Put a little salt. Okay. Make sure you um, rub it in good. Try to get the edges of it too. So the edges. And when I get through, I'm going to have some season to go between the, once I cut it, to go between all of this. Okay, a little salt. And if I missed anything, if you didn't do my flour, is seasoned with all of these ingredients. Okay, yeah. I'll put a little bit more uh, chili powder on it because I like that taste. So I'll put a little more chili powder on it. And, uh, Put a little of this pepper on it and give that kick. It's red pepper. We have the good kick. And these are the things I'm gonna use the other than I'm gonna put it in the uh, put it in the uh, some black pepper, put it in the refrigerator and let it set for a while. Okay, make sure you match your, your ingredients in. Now those are all the ingredients I missed something. Uh, if I miss anything, I one more thing. I'm gonna put a little garlic on here. Nope, oh, I lost a little bit of garlic. And that's about it. Cause I also, like I said, if I miss anything, it'll be in my dusting. Do the sides real good. So you do the sides good. Set it, let it rest a while in the refrigerator so you can get that good, uh, the taste of it. So you know how that one looks. Now this is with all of this around it. The edges, make sure you do your edges too because you want all of your meat to have a good, the taste the same. Have all of it taste. Don't have one bite in one piece that tastes good. Oh, this piece didn't taste good because you didn't rub it in and season it good. And this, like I said, I'm going to let this rest and I'm going to get Back with y'all when I get ready to fry them. Also, what I'm gonna be doing while I rest, and that's a good way for it to rest. Put your oil in last, so it can. Uh, while, while you're waiting for your oil to heat up, you can uh, cut your ribs up, and it'll be a marinade better, a good marinade. Okay, y'all know this is gonna be good. I'm telling you. Okay, I'm back. I let my ribs, baby back, uh, marinate for about an hour, so I'm getting ready to cut them. Up and, and cut each bone. So you reach in there and you see a bone? That's a bone I cut right between that bone. Cut your hand up. Oh, these, see how tender these are? These are tender. Okay, I'm gonna cut the bone. Okay. So that's a bone. I'm gonna cut right I'm probably cut two bones. This is, ooh, this knife is tender. Okay. Each bone. They are really tender, y'all. And I know you're going to enjoy this. Because I didn't say, and I looked in my cabinet, and I saw me some breadcrumbs. I put Franco seasoned breadcrumbs in mine. and give it a different taste. Like I said, this is Maddie Kitchen. You want your food to taste different, and people compliment you and say, what did you put in your ribs? Put some breadcrumbs in it. That's what I do, y'all. That was cut so easy. And I also sharpen my knife, too, y'all. And I like that. I got two. And see, mine's kind of wet, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this piece off. I'm trying to go up and cut my hand. Okay, now I cut it all up. I'm gonna take and rub these together so they can get on the sides. 
So all that, that season can soak in the side. Let them marinate them real good, y'all. Just you know, rub it in. I did do that in the first, and I just take the ends and rub it in on the ends. And get through doing this, I'm gonna get me some clean gloves and start cooking it. Okay, you all, I didn't mention this. I got Franco seasoned breadcrumbs. I'm gonna mix it with my dust and I flowers. I put all my ingredients in there and it'll be in the description. So I'm gonna put some of this breadcrumbs just to put too much in there. Okay, so that look, I'm gonna stir this up real good in your flour and that's gonna make it taste good. These are seasoned. Honey, you're gonna be, enjoy this dish. Tell them why you, uh, you learned this from Maddie's Kitchen, honey. Maddie's Kitchen. Okay. And just get the seasoned kind. If you want some with cheese, then that's up to you. I got the seasoned one. Just the one with seasoning on it. Okay. Now that's ready. And I'm going to tell you a trick. What I do is, I put a little, uh, I use two pans. I take my uh, flour and my mix and put it in a, <clears throat> in a little bowl so you don't wet up your flour and you want to start back, you know, you're dusting. So I'm going to take this right here. My grease over here is hot enough for this. Hey, it's all this work, you want it to be good. So I'm gonna take this one in here, put it in there, you know. In fact, I can use my hand. And make sure you coat them good. Then you shake the uh, grease off of it, the flour. I mean, take your, your season mix, make sure you shake it off and put them in the pan. You, with this right here, but the, what I made, the mix I made, the breadcrumbs and the flour, you might get a little bit of more, uh, a little in your crumbs. You might have more crumbs in your pot. Okay, now what I'm using is a pot. As a, I put my grease in a pot because that's a little bitty. You don't want to use a deep fat fry for this for a slab for real because you're wasting grease. You need more grease if you're using a deep fat fry. So I use the pot so I can use less grease, but you've got to make sure that your ribs cover the, the grease. The grease is covered by your, you know, your grease cover your ribs. So you get, and cook them slow. Don't cook them too fast. You want them to fry, don't cook them too fast. Just cook them slow. We'll shake this really good. Put this in here. Satisfying. Make sure the grease is uh, covering it. Put another one in here. Do all of them like that. I might put it, I just want to make sure all of it cover all my ribs. Do all of these. See, if, when this gets wet and stuff, you got more backup, uh, Flour mix. Shake it off real good. Let them cook. Make sure they cook. You can do all of them just like the same way and you're gonna let them cook. And if you have to turn them over, you can turn them over a little bit. And if you want if you're comfortable using a, a deep fat fryer, a fryer, to use it. I don't want to waste a lot of grease. You have to get back so you don't want it to pop on you now. And make sure you coat them good with this mix. You can get that. I used two cups of flour, and I had uh, for this right here, that's enough. And I also use about a half, of, about a cup, two cups of flour, a cup of breadcrumb, and watch and see how good this tastes. Make sure you can use a plain if you, but at no purpose of using a plain. I want some that's seasoned. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do all them like that. The pot. I have a pot on. I have the grease on medium. Let that cook, and I'm gonna repeat what I'm doing. I think I might put just a little bit more grease in it. I don't know for sure, so I can make sure they're covered good. Make sure you shake it off, like I say. And when you sit down and eat these ribs, honey, I'm gonna say, "Damn, they are good." Okay, y'all, see how good that looks. That is, oh my goodness, that looks so good. Don't cook them too long now. But mine's are so tender. They are tender. Make sure when you're cooking pork, you want pork to get, you want pork to be done. Okay. So I, add, I did add a little bit more grease in mine, y'all. Look at that. Isn't that good? That looks good. Maddie's Kitchen, y'all. This is Maddie's Kitchen. No one other. No other uh, other than me. <laughs> it's good. And I sometimes I repeat myself. Sometimes I repeat myself. And I, uh, I got these, I got these breaded. So I'm gonna put these in here. I got, I hope I have enough, but, cause they be so good. So when you put them in, the grease kind of cooled down, but that's okay, cause it was hot. Look at them ribs over there, y'all.
I had enough flour. I had enough, y'all. I got two more. You put that in the other one. We'll be ready to eat. I should have braided all of them and put them in at one time. That's my last one. Keep it going in the thing. Try to rib you get by three, six, not 12 pieces of them. I think they have about 12 bones in there. Maybe a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to let these fry the same way. Mm. I'm going to have to taste one of them. They're too good. Okay, I'm going to let these fry and I'm going to get back with you. Thank you for tuning into Maddie's Kitchen. If you enjoyed this video, check out my Cornish hands and my stuffing. Share this video with friends and family and bring me some subscribers in. Like I said, thank once again for tuning in to Maddie's Kitchen and sharing this delicious fried ribs and potato salad. One of a kind. Thank you and have a great day.